Hi, my name is Ole Gernhöfer. I'm Global Product Manager. Today I will show you how easy it is to set up our VLC Automation Drive FC302 with integrated motion controller for um, uh, positioning applications. This is the setup I will use to demonstrate uh, the configuration and the function of, of the uh, positioning. Starting at the bottom here of the panel, we have a permanent magnet motor with a, uh, an encoder integrated, but I have disconnected the encoder for this demonstration because we are running sensorless control. On the output of the motor we have a gearbox, 5 to 1. On the output of the gearbox there is a tooth wheel with 19 teeth driving a, a tooth belt or a timing belt which will um, um, cre create a, a linear movement out of the rotating motor, motor. To drive the motor we have our automation drive uh, and with some IOs connected to uh, control it. First step is to uh, set up the drive for basic uh, positioning using the local control panel to uh, control the drive. Um, I have prepared the drive by uh, setting up all motor data and uh, optimized the, the drive for the motor. Uh, everything else is at uh, uh, is default settings. So first I'll go into the main menu select group 1, load and motor, then general uh, settings, and the first parameter here configures the way the motor is controlled. Default is speed control. I will select positioning, press OK. So now we are in positioning mode. I will go one step, uh, two steps back, and then go into group 4, limits and warnings because as uh, default the motor is only allowed to rotate clockwise. For this application we need to operate in both directions so I just need to select both directions which will allow me to run the motor in both directions. So now we are basically ready to do positioning. Um, right now it's in, in stop mode uh, now I can actually enter a new target position on the display and it will uh, make the movement right away. Uh, as default, one motor revolution uh, corresponds to 1024 positions. Uh, so if I go to position uh, 1000 as an example, then it will actually move uh, uh, approximately one motor direction, uh, rotation and I can move back again. As a, a note worth remembering is that I have connected terminal 27 because with default settings the, uh, you need to have uh, 24 volt on terminal 27 to enable operation. So I, di I did that already. Now you will see that when I change the position on the local control panel the sled will actually move and that was one motor revolution and back again. Uh, now we will set up uh, a scaling factor so that we can do positioning in millimeters, which makes good sense for uh, a setup like this. In order to calculate the scaling factor, which is always for the IMC related to one motor revolution, we have to use the gearbox factor 5 to 1. We know that we have uh, a tooth wheel in here with 19 teeth, and I know that the pitch of the timing belt is 10 millimeters. So that is what we need to calculate the scaling factor. The scaling is done related to one motor revolution, so I need to calculate how many millimeters the sled will move per motor revolution. So I start out with my 19 teeth on the, uh, um, the, the wheel. I need to divide by 5 because we have the gear 1 to 5, so one motor revolution is one fifth of a revolution of the, gear, the wheel. And then I multiply by 10 because I have 10 millimeters per tooth and this is equal to 38. So I have 38 millimeters per motor revolution and that is what I need uh, to enter in the drive for, for scaling. Now I will enter the calculated scaling factor in order to do positioning in millimeters. First we'll go to group 17 and here we have a group called position scaling. 
first I will select the unit and we will use millimeters as unit. Next step is to enter the uh, scaling factor. As default it is 1024 positions per revolution. I will change that to 38. As that is the factor we calculated. So now we have our scaling in place and positioning can be done in millimeters. I have now marked position uh, zero here and then 100 millimeters. I will first go to zero and then 100 millimeters on the display here and I can go back to zero and I will move away and then we can check with a tape measure if we really have 100 millimeters. And that is spot on, so our scaling is correct. Next step is to do homing, because it is sensorless control without any encoder. We have to uh, do homing after power up. First, uh, I will activate uh, the start signal to have the motor magnetized. That will keep the position. Uh, I will use uh, a home sensor for doing homing, which is this one, connected to terminal 33 on the drive. In addition, I've connected a switch to terminal 19, which I will configure as a start homing. The inputs are configured in group 5. So I'll select digital inputs. The first one is terminal 18, which is already configured as a start signal, which we did already. Uh, terminal 19 must be my uh, start home. Start homing. And then I need to configure terminal uh, 33 as my home sensor input. And I select home sensor inverse because this uh, input uh, or sensor is uh, a normally closed contact. Next uh, step is to select the home function. There are several home functions to select between. We need to select the one using the home sensor. So I go to group 17 and select position homing. Right now, home function is no homing. I will select reverse with sensor because I know that I need to go in the reverse direction to find the home sensor. So now we are ready to do homing. Now I will activate input 19 to start the home function and it will move, hit the home sensor and stop at the position of the home sensor and define that as zero position. Next step is to define the uh, area of movement by setting up a minimum and a maximum position. I'll go into group 3, references and ramps. Then we will go to parameter 306, which is our minimum position. Default is minus 100,000. We will set it to uh, minus 70, which is a, uh, a safe area uh, for, for the movement. Then we will go to maximum position, which is set to plus 100,000, we will set that to 150 millimeters. So now if we are in hand mode, we will actually see that the minimum position is minus 70, maximum is 150. Now I will move to the minimum position, minus 70 millimeters, like that.
like that. That is now physically our minimum position. And we can move up to maximum, which is 150 millimeters. So that is our uh, range of motion. Now I will set up the drive uh, for positioning to uh, between fixed positions controlled by digital inputs. First, again, we need to go, go to um, group 5 to configure the inputs. Digital inputs is what we use. So we have our start signal, we have start homing, so I'll use the next one, terminal 27. I'll configure that to be um, uh, enable reference. Which is needed to uh, take over or enable uh, going to, to the uh, selected target position. And then we need another input. 29 for selecting between uh, different preset uh, references. Pre uh, um, preset reference bit zero. So there, with now with terminal 29, we can select between preset position uh, zero and preset position one. Then I to go back to the references and set up a value in those two references. Preset target. First preset target uh, zero. I'll set that to minus 50. So we still stay within our limits we defined. Preset reference one. I'll set that to 100 millimeters. So now we are ready to do positioning uh, controlled by inputs. I'll start doing a new homing so that we are starting out at position zero. Now uh, I'm using two switches here, one to enable reference, which means it will start running towards the selected target. And with the other switch, I'm selecting between the two fixed references, reference zero and one now reference zero is selected, which is minus 50 millimeters. So when I enable reference, it will move to minus 50. Now if I select reference one, which is uh, 100 millimeters, it will move up to 100 millimeters. And reference zero is back to 70. So far, we have been working with absolute positioning, going to the absolute position values programmed. Uh, now I have set the drive up for relative positioning, just moving a distance. Uh, that is done in parameter 1792. Um, again, I use the same inputs. I have now selected uh, preset reference zero, which is uh, minus 50 millimeters. So every time I select my enable reference, it will move uh, 50 millimeters down. So it will look like this. Every time I activate it, it will move 50 millimeters. Uh, negative. So now when I select preset reference um, one, which is 100 millimeters, it will move 100 millimeters up every time I activate uh, enable reference.